Hi, this is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. Today I'll be evaluating zip books for Chapter 4 of the Fit Small Business case study which deals with banking and cash management. So the most important part of banking and cash management is always going to be your reconciliation feature. So let's take a look at that. Uh, first off, in order to reconcile an account, you need to make sure that in your chart of accounts it's it's uh, the reconciliation is turned on for that account. So let's look for that real quick. So under transactions in our categories, we're going to find our checking account. So this categories is essentially our, uh, oh, sorry, I accidentally clicked. That's showing the register. Uh, our, our categories is essentially our chart of accounts here. So I'm going to go to our checking and I'm going to edit that account and I'm going to make sure that the reconciliation is turned on. Okay, and it is, so we should be able to reconcile it. So now under transactions, we can go to reconciliation and it'll show us all of our accounts that have the reconciliation feature turned on. So let's go into January. And so Zipbooks here summarizes all of our January activity, shows us the beginning balance, the net change, and then the ending balance. For the checking, it shows us what we entered last period as our checking statement balance. And then it gives us a spot to enter the ending balance for this month. So I'm going to enter an ending balance of 11475 And that comes off of the uh, bank statement I have sitting in front of me. And so now, as we pulled it up, it's automatically checked each of these transactions as having cleared our bank. So the process of reconciliation is for us to go through each of these transactions in the book and trace them to our bank statement. So let's say we do that and all of these match perfectly our bank statement except for this $1,200 payment to our contract laborer. So I think the name was Hank Independent. So we made, we paid him a check, gave him a check for $1,200. He must not have deposited it yet or at least it hasn't cleared the bank yet. So we need to uncheck this because it hasn't cleared our bank. Okay, and so now we match um, but we have the one unconfirmed transaction of twelve hundred dollars okay so you can see at least so it it doesn't really give us a place to reconcile it to you know hit reconcile but it does tell us that um, you know when we checked this box right it says that we're out of balance zip book shows a balance of twelve hundred dollars less than your checking if we uncheck it it just says we have one unconfirmed transaction basically one outstanding transaction and we can look here and that's twelve hundred dollars okay so it does perform a reconciliation um, the problem I have here is that there's no way to really print a reconciliation report um, so uh, you know that's not ideal but we can see here that it's reconciled it doesn't tell us we're out of balance and it tells us how many outstanding transactions we have Okay, <clears throat> other nice features for reconciliations. A lot of times your bank will charge you a service fee on each bank statement and that's not something that you might remember to enter during the month. So if, you, if, it is, if, a, if an expense shows up on your bank statement that you haven't entered in the books yet, you can actually enter it right here by hitting this plus sign and then going to expense or if it's transfers from other accounts, etc. So you can enter transactions right from our reconciliation screen without exiting the reconciliation. So that's pretty nice. Really handy for entering, say, bank service charges. Okay, so um, good. Um, so when we go into February, it's going to automatically show our transactions from only February. So we may have to change this uh, next month so that this transaction from January 28th shows up because hopefully this will clear our our uh, bank next month and we'll need to check it off next month. Okay so the bank reconciliation feature seems to be okay other than it doesn't give us any sort of report that we could print out and save for our files or at least save electronically. Um, I like to have a report that shows that we're in balance and that it has a list of all of our outstanding transactions so that I can keep a close eye on them and uh, you know because if an outstanding check gets six months old well then perhaps somebody lost the check and we need to investigate it. Okay so that's our reconciliation feature. Um, 
Can we do the same thing for credit cards? Yes, absolutely. So we can see on our reconciliation screen here that we have credit accounts as well. So again, just got to make sure your credit card account on your chart of accounts has reconciliation turned on. Okay, and the other thing we want to check out is if we can connect our bank accounts to our software. And so I believe we can. So we can hit manage banks here. We can hit connect a bank. Uh, please enter a credit card to connect a bank. You will be charged once you're... Okay, so I have a trial plan, so it's not allowing me to actually go through and connect a bank account while I'm on a trial plan. We need to actually pay for the plan first. Okay, um, but we can connect both bank and credit card accounts. This will allow the transactions to flow through automatically. Um, so depending on how you use ZipBooks, um, that connection will be more or less important. Uh, if you use Quick ZipBooks any program, if you use it kind of proactively and you're entering transactions as they occur so your books are always up to date, then having your bank connected is really not a big deal. Um, however, if you don't really use your account for proactive purposes, if all you do is use it to classify income and expenses as they clear your bank, then having the bank connected will be really nice because all you'll have to do is classify the transactions as they come through. And you can connect your bank here with zip books. Okay, so let's give it a s run through our scorecard here for bank and cash management. So the software can connect to the bank. Yes, um, I don't see any option here to up to, to bring in the, uh, I see no option to bring in transactions other through than a live connection. So a lot of other software, you can download your bank statement into a CSV file or some similar file and then upload it into the accounting software. Some people aren't comfortable giving the accounting software access to their bank account. Um, so let's see what this plus, yeah, that's the same thing. So yeah, there is no way to bring over transactions in a bank statement. You have to do the live connection. Okay, so the bank reconciliation is very easy to open. You enter your ending checking, the ending balance in the check account. You can enter the monthly fee by hitting that plus sign. Um, you can select transactions that have cleared the bank. Um, view outstanding transactions. I'm going to give them a half a point because you can kind of view in, in your on-screen list your outstanding transactions. So that $1,200 check that hadn't cleared. Um, but again, I would much rather see a report listing those uh, reconciling items. Um, we can exit the reconciliation, come back later. We cannot ever finalize the reconciliation. There's no button to say finalize and print report. Um, so we can't do that. And then credit cards do have the same banking features as our checking account. Good. So uh, the other thing worth mentioning here, although we, we evaluated it in a different video, um, is that with ZipBooks, you can't print checks from the program. You're going to have to handwrite all your checks and then enter the information into the program. So if you're somebody that writes a lot of checks, then this is probably not a great software. There are other software that can print checks. Um, QuickBooks, obviously, Zero, Zoho Books, just to name a few. Okay, and that is the banking and cash features of ZipBooks. My name is Tim Yoder with Fit Small Business. I hope this was helpful.